Good afternoon. Okay, today we're in Windsor. It's a bright and sunny day today, and we're going to be taking you around Windsor, showing you some of the shops and things, some of the bars, the castle, which is over there behind me. We're going to make our way around the corner in a moment, and you'll see that in more detail. So uh, let's do this. So we're going past the Royal Windsor pub. Looks like a nice place to have a drink. We do some food as well, so it looks really nice. The Royal Windsor. You can see the castle there in the background. We'll make our way around there later. Now we're on the main street. We're going to head around the corner towards the castle. I will give you some facts about the castle as we walk around Windsor. We're going to be walking around the shop, shops area. So there's lots of um, restaurants and, and such along the high street. We're just coming up to the Theatre Royal. I think this is the second theatre that uh, was on this site. This was opened, I think, in 1910. Very nice looking theatre. Quite a few lovely old fashioned houses there. And we have the castle off to our left there. As you can see, it's the outside of the castle. We head all the way around. So the castle was actually built in the late 11th century by William the Conqueror. He was a French guy that came over and kicked the English arse in 1066, the Battle of Hastings. And then he obviously built Windsor Castle a bit later on in the 11th century. It was first used as a royal, royal uh, residence in 1110 by Henry I who is the fourth son of William the Conqueror and has been home to the old British family. And I think 39 monarchs have uh, lived there so far. It's a very crowded day today. Lots of people around. It's a beautiful castle. I think it's actually the largest inhabited castle in the world. It also houses the oldest kitchen in the country. And you see there just ahead of us is the Duchess of Cambridge pub. Now 2022, unfortunately, Queen Elizabeth passed away. But when she was alive, and during World War II, sometimes she would actually sleep in the dungeons of the castle. From um, 
when the Germans were uh, bombing England. That's an old railway station. We'll be making our way there later, so stay tuned for that. So the castle has over 300 fireplaces. And I think there are nearly 450 clocks in the castle. To our right here is a high street full of shops. We won't be going down there today. It's far too busy. And up ahead there is a statue of Queen Victoria. So bear with me while I try not to get run over. There she is, Queen Victoria. And we're going to head up the street now and have a look at the castle from the outside. And did you know the royal family actually takes its name from Windsor? So the previous name of the royal family was Saxe Coburg Gotha, which is uh, from a German dynasty. And it was George V that changed the name of the royal house in 1917. And the family's name was changed to Windsor. There it is. Beautiful castle. I think that's the exit there. Visitor's exit. And the castle is also the burial ground for ten of England's kings, including Henry VIII, Charles I. Henry VIII is uh, buried next to his favourite wife, Jane Seymour in St George's Chapel and I think in the same chapel is where the late Queen Elizabeth II who died in 2022 she's buried there also later on in the spring I will be coming back and going inside the castle but today is just a walk around Windsor itself Now seeing as it is a royal uh, residence, there are a lot of armed guards, armed police protecting the castle. It's quite late in the afternoon today. So the sun's very low, it's getting towards the sort of sunset time. And we're going to start heading down some of the side streets. There we have the Edinburgh Woolen Mill. Lots of souvenir shops, lots of pubs. The Carpenter's Arms. Lots of bunting up between the buildings, as you can see. So we will be making our way around these side streets. We will then 
go and visit the railway station, which has now been turned into a sort of shopping precinct, shopping arcade. But there is still a live platform there. After that, we will make our way over to the River Thames and we will go over the bridge that links Windsor to Eton and we'll just have a walk down the high street of Eton as well. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We really do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel on YouTube. Leave any comments down below and hit the like button. Really appreciate it. Lots of old alleyways, lots of old buildings. And then we have the Prince Harry pub. Prince Harry married Meghan Markle. Been a bit of a hoo-ha in uh, England. In recent times, they've now moved to America and sold their story to Netflix and other press. And now we're on the other side of the Carpenter's Arms. We'll make our way up this cobbled street back towards the castle. This is a lovely looking pub here. The horse and groom. There's another look at the castle in front of us. <laughs> Lovely sunny day today. Nice blue sky. And there we are, the Windsor Royal Shopping. Lots of cafes and bars. There'll be some shops as we go around the corner. It is just gone Christmas time, so there's still some decorations up, as you can see from the ceilings. Not Christmas tree or two. If you are planning a visit to England and uh, you want to come and see Windsor, I do recommend doing it during the week. Monday to Friday, the weekends do get rather busy. So as I said, there is a, a platform that's still working. I think it's the Windsor and Eton Central Railway Station. And there is a, um, a replica, I think, of a, a train that will be coming up too soon. We'll have a look at that.
There we go, there's another Christmas tree. Decorations. So we're going to head off to our right now through um, another part of the converted railway station in there on our left is the the um, the train I was saying about it's the replica it was, um, it's called the Queen it has the royal coat of arms on the side of it as you can see in a moment there it is And there it is, the Queen. Beautiful. So as I said, there is still a platform that's usable, as you can see there. Right in front of us, there's some people queuing, waiting for a train, and it is the Windsor and Eaton Central station. There is another station, the Riverside one, which is about a five, ten minute walk away. We're just going to make our way through a few more of these shops. Ticket office there to the left. You can buy some tickets for the for the railway. So if you do come to Windsor, as you can probably tell by now, there are lots and lots of coffee shops, bars and restaurants, so plenty of choice for eating and drinking. This is a lovely uh, souvenir stall here, lots of cushions with the Union flag, etc. There we go, another Christmas tree. These will be taken down soon. This Christmas is now over, unfortunately. I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas and a great new year. Today is January the 2nd. Back out onto the castle. There we go. We're going to now make our way down the street again past some of these shops and pubs there's a lot of chain restaurants here things like um, McDonald's and uh, Pizza Express that sort of stuff I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing I do like to see novel restaurants and um, and bars but uh, you know people do like the convenience of the chain restaurants we're going to make our way down now and head towards the River Thames. We may see some boats on the water, not sure yet. There we are, 
Là, je m'attends dans une vente place. And the Weatherspoon Pub, the King and Castle. Dr. Chops Windsor Chocolate Factory and Cafe. And Azizi's, another chain. We're going to head off to the left now down to the River Thames. So you can, I think, get boat trips also from Windsor to central London along the Thames. Thames cruises. There's a lovely ice cream shop there. And here we are next to the river bank. Beautiful sunny day today, as you can see. Lovely time of the day. Sun glistening off the buildings. Swans and ducks swimming. I think they're being fed by a lady over there. There are some of the prices of the riverboat cruises. You can also hire rowing boats and things like that here. It's a very old looking boat. Right in front of us there is the bridge that uh, links Windsor to Eton. We're going to head our way over there and go over the bridge and take a walk down the high street of Eton. Eton um, is very famous for its uh, private schools. I think a lot of our Prime Ministers have come from Eton College. As I say, please subscribe to the, the um, channel if, you, if you're liking the video. We do have a lot of uh, walking tours of London on the channel. Um, I am planning a few trips this year. We're off to Paris in April, so I'll be doing some walking tours of Paris. Um, my daughter's actually getting married in the Dominican Republic at the end of the year, so we'll be doing some videos on the Dominican Republic in the Caribbean. That'll be later on, November time. We'll be making our way around um, some other European cities, I'm sure, throughout the year. So please subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of that content. We really do appreciate it. So we're making our way up these steps now. And we're going to head over this bridge to the left.
There's a lovely Christmas tree in front of us. And this is now going to be the High Street of Eton. Little sign above us, Merry Christmas, welcome to Eton. It's a bit early in the day for the decorations to be lit up. Maybe on the walk back they may they may have um, be turned on. Nice old pub there, the George. Christmas trees that are sticking out of the side of the buildings. And there's a, a banner up there of Queen, Queen Elizabeth II. I think that's from the Jubilee. All these little Christmas trees poking out the side of the buildings. I think they light up as well in the evenings. Lovely building there, the Eton Mess. In case uh, you don't know what Eton Mess is, it's a, an actual dessert made of uh, meringues, cream, strawberries. Um, I'm not sure what else, but it is very, very tasty. Lots of antique shops in Windsor and Eton also. A few art galleries. lovely old buildings there as you can see and that's an actual barber shop the Turks head court and over to the right there as you can see up there there's a sign called Hovis Hovis in the UK is um, a brand of bakers that make uh, bread, which you can buy in supermarkets. There's a pizzeria. This is um, a hotel, I think it is, the Christopher, which uh, refers to Christopher Wren. He actually designed a lot of the churches and, and buildings in central London, including St Paul's Cathedral. And I think he has links to Windsor and Eton as well. Santa there hanging from a, a window. And, uh, there's a shop over there called the Tudors. That's a, a tailor's. I think 1784 was the date on that building. And now we're going to make our way back up Eaton High Street back up to the bridge and I think it's now dark enough that the uh, Christmas light might just have clicked on maybe I'll see them twinkling now
now these little Christmas trees poking out the side of the buildings are all lit up looks quite beautiful there's the Eaton mess again so as I said, we'll be coming back in the spring we will be going inside the castle so stay tuned for that we'll also be doing the, the um, long walk which I think is about a 2.6 mile walk um, very famous walk in Windsor might even be three miles I'm not sure but it's uh, yeah it's, it's a long walk hence the name All these little trees now lit up. Very nice. One of the welcome signs now lit up also. Yes, it's all lit up now. Merry Christmas. Welcome to Eton. We're going to make our way back over the bridge and into Windsor. We're coming to the end of the video now. Hope you enjoyed it. As I said, please um, hit that like button if you did. Leave any comments below. It's greatly appreciated. And another view of the uh, river. We'll make our way back over beautiful time of the day And there we go, the Christopher Wren Hotel. As I said, he designed and built St Paul's Cathedral in central London. I have a video of a walk from London Bridge to St Paul's Cathedral, so please check that out. It's quite a big hotel, this. That's a, a, um, a hotel and spa, I think it is. The Christopher Wren. So you've got this entrance here, which is rather nice. And then on the other side of the road, I think there's another part of the hotel. There it is. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.